bad for you. Hi, I'm Coach Nathaniel with the 505 Wrestling Club and the Prime Wrestling System. Special thanks to Nike Wrestling for helping out with the channel. Woo Today we're going to do a low gut wrench. Today's video might be a little bit longer, but the gut wrench has a lot of, lot of details that we need to cover. One time fast. Now let's break it down. Typically I look to the low gut as a plan B to my mid gut. So I'm locked up here. This is my top arm, my deep arm, so I'm gut wrenching in this direction. Here. And I'm gut wrenching this way. Now, when I go, I'm going to gut wrench that way, he's going to be climbing forward to defend. And as he's climbing forward, right there, I'm too low for a mid gut, so now I'm going to commit to my low gut. Here we go. Let's top lock. Now, my lock initially is going to be here. Normal gut wrench lock. As soon as my lock lowers, below the points of these ribs, and I'm in the soft area, I'm gonna to transition to low gut. My lock is gonna go from here, and it's gonna slam into a wrestler's grip. And I'm gonna make a 90 degree turn here. As I'm setting up the gut and getting into place, and then right before I turn, this is gonna pinch from 90 to 45. I'm gonna be catching his hip flexor with this spot on my arm right here. Slamming down, we're really trying to isolate the pelvis. Let's talk about legs. I'm setting this up a lot earlier than you may realize. I'm in my mid gut. I'm working here. My knee's right at the hip, right around where his belt is. This knee's looking to go under and scoop up so I can put the hips in the basket. But as I know that I'm gonna start looking low gut, that knee's gonna go down here, just above the knee. If he wants to defend a gut in this direction, defend, he's gonna turn this way. I wanna prevent that before it happens. So that knee's gonna be here. My other knee is gonna be right up in the crotch as far as I can get it. His defense on a low gut is to crawl backwards and get my arm back in the squishy area. I wanna attack the bony part of the hips. So this knee's up in the groin, this knee's blocking on the IT there. It's gonna feel awkward because one knee is gonna be further up than the other, like so. At that time I just went straight for it, which is great. This knee slides, helping prevent, bring that knee up. Now, this elbow, the point of my elbow, right at the end of my Funny bone <laughs> is gonna block here as well. Now this is for Greco or freestyle. You're not gonna get called for legs here. The best Greco Roman wrestlers in the world use their legs and score with legs all the time. Just keep it as legal as you can. There's a gray area. Here, no one is gonna call that for leg foul. Shoulder position. Shoulder position is very, very important in the gut wrench. If he's a cue boy, a cue boy, that's a three-dimensional rectangle. I'm gonna pretend his torso is a cue boy. Here's one side, here's another side. So now we have a corner. And that's our position point chain for our gut wrenches. My mid gut, I usually head here or here, somewhere in this area, but we're doing low gut, so I'm down here on the kidney or floating rib. I really wanna try to scorpion his back here. Now let's talk about block. Place right here. We want to attack below the waist. All right. We're supposed to keep it above the belt, but we're not going to on this lock. As my lock slides down, it's going to come just below the waistband, maybe here, and my lock goes down and across. When my training partners hit me with this gut wrench, it really hurts on my hip flexor. I get a burning sensation when it's really tight. So right here on the hip flexor, right here on the lock. Slamming down, pressure here, driving forward at a 45 degree angle. So I got my big up. Crawl forward, partner. Crawl forward now. Knees up in the crotch. 
Transition my lock. Slam and slide down. Boom, he's still crawling forward. There, I'm down and around the waist. Here, shoulder position. And roll through. Make sure that when you roll through that you're not rolling across your back. We're going shoulder, look up, top of your head, other shoulder. Another important point on your back arch is to keep your feet close to your butt. I want a big back arch. My feet want to be close to here so I can really pop and go through. One more time from this angle. Mid gut, he's fighting, he's fighting, he's climbing forward. I'm starting to block that knee from coming up. Now I want to go, I transition my lock to wrestler's grip. Knee up the groin. He's still pressing, pressing me here. Boom. That pinch below the waist, across the hip flexor. Now, an added thing for pressure. I don't always do this, but sometimes I do. My chest, the top of my chest goes up, pushes up under the butt. Here, and I'm driving. This leg's blocked out, turn left and defend. He's trying to get his hip down. Because I got the low waist, he can't hit down. The bony part's way up here. I'm on a hip flexor, shoulder stab. Right neck, kidney. Look away, ear on the back. Scooping, defend, defend, scooping. And roll through. One more time fast. Start with the mid gut, transition down. There you have it. Thank you, Connor. There's your low gut. Again, thank you to Nike. Make sure you headbutt the like button, subscribe, so you get notifications every time we have a new technique here on the Prime Wrestling System. Keep it too sweet, my friends.